Alright guys, so in this episode we are going to be going over variables for C-sharp. So I'm going to open up my C-sharp basic file right here. We're just going to go over some basic variables, uh, just to kind of get you started on the whole variable thing. They're not really complicated, it shouldn't take too long to do. Let's just open this up really quick. Okay, so... Variables are basically just ways you're going to store data. So you can store like numbers, or you can store game objects, you can store booleans. So yeah, let's just go over this first. So in our class, it has to make sure you're in the actual class, which is right here. We're just going to make some variables, they're not going to do anything right now, but we're going to go over them. So we make a basic variable in Java is you write public. Public is basically stating that it can be seen anywhere in this document. There's other ways, there's things like static, private, but we'll go over those in a bit. That's gonna be probably next episode or something. Or maybe we'll do it later, but anyway, public, integer in this case, because we're making an integer, so it's int, space, whatever you wanna name it, I'm just gonna call this one name, is equal to a number. So whatever you wanna, it has to be a whole, in this case, for an integer, an integer needs to be a whole number. It can't be a decimal, it can't be a float, whole number, so we'll make it one. And that's how you make a basic variable for for integers. Next thing I'm gonna go over is let's do floats. So we public float name one is you'll do it. and then you do one point two three four. And at the end of a float in C sharp you need to put F so it knows it's a float. So basically a float is a number that isn't always a whole number, isn't always a decimal, it, it changes, it can change. So that's what you use for player movement and stuff because you want it to be able to be any number. Next is going to be boolean, so public bool or boolean name2, we'll name it name2, is equal to true or false. It's boolean is a true or false statement for determining whether something's true or false. That's that's really all you need to know. And then the last thing I want to go over is a um let's do two a game object. Public bully or sorry, public game object. And we're just gonna name it name or we'll just call it name three. We're not gonna set it to anything because basically the way this will work is we can actually drag our object straight onto the script inside you I'll show you how to do that. And the last one I want to do is public transform name four, and that also is what you'll drag on. So yeah, there's these two at the end are Unity based uh, into, uh, variables. You wouldn't be using these in regular C sharp. So let's save this now. Let's go here and let it load. And once it loads, let's go on our capsule actually. So, we can take our basic right here, we can put it on our capsule, and now as you can see, we have all the, it lists all your variables, so we have name, which is 1, we can actually change this to 2, and now it's set to 2, right in here, we have name 1, name 2 is a boolean, so it has a check mark, and then name 3 is a game object, name 4 is a transform, transforms are things that move, game objects are just anything in your game, so we'll put a capsule for both of those anyway, just because we're going to delete this anyway, but, yeah. So, those are, you just drag them in there, and then that's how it works. I don't want to keep that on there. But yeah, that's how you make basic variables in Java, or in C-sharp. Thanks for watching.